I actually did a little get ready with me video for two brands. So I did a little makeup get ready with me and then an outfit one. How cute is this little set? It's from Lulu's and I love this for spring. It literally just got me in the mood for spring. I love this little like peplum top. I haven't worn one of these in years, probably since high school because that's when they were popular. And then I saw that that's gonna be a trend for 2024. So I'm happy I was able to just grab this little top. I feel like I can style this a bunch of ways actually, like with jeans would be so cute and sneakers. I just styled it with the skirt today, but I also feel like this skirt could be really cute with a bunch of different tops. It's like so versatile. Now I'm gonna go run some errands. I have some returns that I need to do and I've been putting them off for a while. I just need to get that done. Before I left, I just decided to try on the outfit I envisioned in my head. I think this is so cute. I love that it's like a mix of girly and dressy. This little rose purse. Another trend actually that I saw is gonna be popular in 2024. And I also got this little bag from Lulu's. It's so cute. I love this. I feel like it can be dressed up or worn casual like this. I actually like mixing dressy stuff with casual items or things that like wouldn't normally go together. I feel like that's that's when the outfits are good. And then I just put these little Adidas with it. There's some green in the top. So I feel like it just kind of ties everything together. I've been wearing these Adidas on repeat. I've had them for a while actually, and I was having a hard time styling them, but now they're hitting with like every outfit. So this is the fit. I'm probably not gonna wear this top to run errands just because I feel like it's cold outside actually. So I'm gonna change into something a little bit warmer, but this is definitely a cute outfit for spring. Excuse me, sir. You can't be this cute. It is illegal to be this cute. Hello. Are you so comfortable? <laughs> He's so silly. In like at least once a week we have this and it's so easy and I love adding lentils because I don't really like eating red meat. I've been adding lentils to make like a lentil bolognese sauce and it's so good. Brian's out of town this weekend so I'm having a girl's night with myself. I'm on my period so I'm like just doing all of the comforting things like a comforting dinner. I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube. I love watching YouTube and Brian literally hates it so I'm gonna do that while I eat and then I also was craving a dessert and I actually just saw this girl make these like chocolate pomegranates and she puts them in like a little baking or the cupcake baking sheets and then she puts melted chocolate on the bottom with pomegranates and then drizzles chocolate on top and those looked so good and she's like this is my favorite period treat i literally went and got all the ingredients yesterday because i knew i was gonna want it so i'm gonna make that after this <laughs> So cute they look like little Reese's cups I'm gonna try them I hope they're good mmm mm mm-hmm I feel like I have chocolate all over my face now that really hit the spot honestly that's probably one of the best um, sweet treats that I've made recently I love it because it has like the juice from the pomegranates that comes out so it's not so like rich and chocolatey compared to like the peanut butter filled dates that I've been making. So that's like really a treat. These are so good. They're like, they kind of remind me of a chocolate covered strawberry, honestly, same kind of thing, but 
I will be making these again. They're literally so good. Mm. This was the perfect treat tonight. I'm so happy I made these. I didn't really measure anything, but I'll leave the video that I found of the recipe if you guys want to try it because it's literally so good and you need to make it. It is Saturday and I had to rush this morning. I was planning on like doing my makeup and showing you guys some of the new makeup that I got. Somehow the morning just got away from me and I didn't have time, but I just got to my nail appointment. This is the color that I have right now. I love red, but I think I'm going to finally say goodbye to the red nails. I might be getting um, green. Actually, I don't know uh, what color I'm going to get yet. I actually put a story up on Instagram of these nails to help me decide. So far, it looks like the green, these ones right here. I think that's cute for spring, honestly. I was finally, officially getting over the red nails. I always love a red nail. It looks so good on everyone, but I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna bring some spring colors in. It is literally pouring rain. All of a sudden, on my way here, it starts pouring rain out of nowhere. It was like sunny this morning when I woke up. I was like, okay, it's gonna be a great day. And then it just starts pouring rain, but I'm like five minutes late now because there was traffic, so. Let's go. Okay, nails are done. I'm not 100% sure I'm in love with this color. I showed her the photo and she asked me what color I wanted. So I was like, I don't really know what the color is called. I just found it on Pinterest and I couldn't really find a color in the book that looked similar. So I just went with this one, but I don't know. It's like a lot more minty green than the one I wanted and a little bit lighter. And then we didn't have time to do chrome on top. So I don't know. I don't know if the chrome would have made it look better and I would have liked it more or if this is just more of like a minty green than what I was wanting to go with. I want it to be a little bit more of like a sage green. It's fine. They are giving spring. They're giving spring nails. I finally switched it up and didn't do red. I think I do like them. I Maybe I'm just not used to having a different color than red because I've had red for like six months now. But yeah, we're just gonna go with it. I'm in my green era. I love the color green right now, like in my house. And then I have my sage. See, I wanted it to be like this color to match my shoes, which it kind of does. It's just lighter. So we're in the same shade range, I guess. I'm just gonna have them for two weeks and then I'm gonna switch it again probably. So that's it. We're gonna go home now. The rain kind of stopped, which is good. And I have an eyebrow appointment later today. So I'm gonna go home and like edit and stuff because I have to submit some content today. And then I also wanna clean a little bit because I kind of wanna get like a little bit of it done before Sunday tomorrow. And I also, didn't really like do as deep of a clean as I did last week or as I normally do last weekend so I kind of want to do more of like a deep clean that I was in earlier, but I realized that I never showed you guys my outfit for the day. Literally, this is the variation of the outfits that I've been wearing on repeat lately, like a pair of baggy jeans with some kind of samba, and then just like a basic tee. So I have this long sleeve one on from Abercrombie. I still love this one. And then I wear this jacket all the time. And I've really been back in my hat mood lately. I used to wear hats all the time, and then probably for like two years, I kind of stopped wearing wearing them and I just like didn't really, they weren't hitting like they were, but now they are again. And I love it because then I don't really have to do my hair. We're doing, just doing a tint today. We're doing a tint in between just to freshen that up and keep it the whole time. But she's done early, so I'm gonna head over there now. So I didn't have time to edit this video yet. So I'm gonna do that when I get back. Okay, the brows are browing their back and they look very bold every time on the first day right after they're done. But by tomorrow, they'll fade like a bunch and they'll be perfect. We love making them super bold the first day so then they like stay for even longer and then I'm just gonna not like get them wet but I'm just gonna like 
take a quick body shower later so that they don't fade because if you like let it sit for 24 hours fully it lasts so much longer i got them this rug from chewy it's called the ripple rug it's literally so ugly in the house but they are literally obsessed with it it has like these cutout holes and then velcro on the inside of this part and it also has like a no or like a grip bottom so it doesn't slide around and you can unvelcro it and put it in different ways so then they can like run through the holes and i put little toys in it and they literally are obsessed with it they just like hang out on it and lay on it and then they literally like run through the whole thing and play i put their little mouse their squeaky mouse in there because they like playing cat and mouse with it <laughs> they're literally so cute <laughs> Currently 4.25 right now. I'm home now and I just ate a little bit of pasta because I was hungry, but I want to make some tea right now and I really want a London Fog, but I feel like that's going to be a terrible idea. <laughs> So cute, the little froth on top. Mm. It's so good. The sun came out and it's like clear blue skies. It's 5 p.m. right now, so I'm gonna take a little break from editing. I'm probably just gonna edit, honestly, this video and then the collab that I need to send for approval the rest of the night, so nothing very exciting but I wanna get a little walk in before the sun sets just so I can move my body because I didn't really get to all day today and I'm trying to do something, even if it's just like a light walk every day to move my body and obviously if it's nice out, I'm definitely gonna get outside for a walk. I'm just gonna end the video here. I'm gonna start next week's vlog tomorrow or on Monday, so I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.